Isn't it awesome to design your own graphical user interface on the computer and then import it to your hardware and let your microcontroller run it and control it? Today in this video, we are going to discuss the user interface design that I've worked on using Squareline Studio and see how every single part in it is implemented like the round value gauge, continuously shifting bar chart, and background gradient. And then we will export the square line output files to integrate them into our ESP32 S3 project, which consists of LVGL library. We are going to show sensor data in a very fancy way today, so without wasting any time, let's put the show on the road. Turn your dream project into reality with PCBWay. I've personally used their services to produce my own prototype for future IoT projects. Ordering your own PCB has never been easier before. With a lot of features, they are currently celebrating their 10th anniversary with a lot of discounts and coupons. Check their website for more details. All right, so here's the same hardware that we have used in the previous tutorial. Uh, and we are going to use it uh, in this one too because the purpose of this video uh, is to focus on the user interface so you remember that we discussed the air quality sensor and how we derived it over I2C uh, you will notice that here I have added this chart that shows the previous value uh, of the VOC index so uh, let me show you how it works when I uh, spray some perfume so the VOC index will increase The VOC data has started to increase and now as new data is being read from the sensor it's being pushed uh, to this chart so new values will be printed on the right side and the data is being shifted to the left all right so now i will uh, reconnect the usb cable because i want to show you the introduction screen So here you will see the user electronics introduction and then the uh, sensor display screen appears. So at the beginning, uh, the program waits for the uh, sensor to get calibrated. And after a few attempts of reading the data, it will start printing the data in the interface and the whole thing gets updated. So now you will see that every time we read new data from the sensor, uh, the chart is getting updated and getting shifted to the left inserting new data to the right side so everything uh, you see over here uh, will be discussed on square line studio uh, and on the code and see how the user interface design is done and controlled by the esp32 s3 all right so here's the square line studio where the user interface design is done of course you have noticed that this is the same design that i have on my board so we are going to talk about the objects that I have designed. So let me run the simulation. So we are going to talk about this uh, gauge design. Here we have this uh, panel. This is actually quite easy thing. And of course the chart over here uh, and the background uh, gradient. Okay, so let's start with the gauge. Uh, it's actually nothing but uh, an arc. It can be imported from here. So at the beginning the default uh, design is uh, this. But of course, in order to customize it, we are going to do the following. Okay, so first of all, we can adjust the position and the size uh, from this menu, uh, either from the screen or by inserting the value like that. Other than that, here we have the minimum range and the maximum range. Since the gauge is the representation of the VOC index, uh, so our range is going to be between zero and 500. This is the initial value. The initial value is going to change uh, later during the runtime of the program. Uh, these are the start and end angle so say that if I make this 100 it's going to be like that but for my design I'm going to select the end angle uh, to be as 60 degrees and I'm going to tell you why so in order to find uh, good icons uh, I prefer to use a flat icon website so here I search for gauge and I've got these designs which are all good uh, but I've liked this one and from here I can edit this one so here you will remove the unwanted objects so I will select this one and then 
changed its color so the alpha component uh, makes uh, the object disappear all right so what i want to have is uh, two designs uh, with different colors because i want an icon that will represent the empty value and the other one will represent the full value of the gauge so for that we can select uh, any of this object uh, and change its color and we can do that by uh, changing the alpha value which will make that object a bit dim and then we store the alpha level I can put the same uh, alpha value which is uh, 70 so all the objects uh, in the gauge will have the same opacity level so here as you can see I have two different assets let's open them and see the difference so here's the one with the full uh, gauge and this is the empty gauge okay so let's now uh, implement that into this arc and see how it will appear okay so first of all we are going to use the style main section and we're going to extend the background image we are going to enable that and then we are going to select the uh, gauge empty because this is going to be the background of the uh, arc we have here let's extend that so we get the full size of it and then we need to remove this arc background and we can do that in the arc section over here so we are going to enable the coloring and then the alpha parameter is going to be zero so you can see that now the background arc side has been removed okay so now we need to apply the gauge uh, on the arc side and this can be done in the indicator session uh, we are going to enable the image and we are going to select the full gauge uh, we need to make it wider so the full gauge appears now we need to disable this knob again we are going to enable the coloring and then so the alpha parameter is set to zero to remove the knob okay so now we have our gauge over here but you'll notice that uh, it's not aligned because the size is not set correctly so we need to make it a bit larger yeah, so this looks good so if I run the animation uh, and play with the gauge value you'll notice that the gauge value is not a straight line we can adjust that in the indicator menu so this should be set we don't want the arc to be rounded uh, and now if I run the animation and now you can see that the gauge value uh, moves uh, just like we want okay so this is done uh, let's delete that and proceed with chart design okay so now it's time to build a chart uh, similar to this one uh, this is going to show the previous values of the VOC index uh, as we have seen at the beginning of the tutorial and we can do that by importing a chart from here so as you can see the chart is uh, quite different of what I have implemented over here okay so first of all we are going to select the chart type and it's going to be bar and then we will select the number of uh, points that we can insert to the chart I will select 15 let's make it a bit wider so these are the divisions uh, inside the chart I'm not going to use that but uh, let me show you what happens when I change them so let this be 10 and this one is 10 as well so you can see the notification but I will remove this in a few minutes so here in this menu we have x-axis primary y-axis and secondary so this the primary and the secondary are the uh, axis on the left and the right so let's start with the x-axis uh, so here you can see the tick uh, option the one is that's related to these ticks uh, we can modify their counts or their length so say that I can adjust this to 10 I don't want to use this option so I'm going to disable that and I'm going to set the tick length to 0 so they don't appear and I will do the same for the uh, y-axis uh, and then in the chart data we can modify the data set so say that I want to set this to 50 you can see that you can see that the data will be updated uh, and we can add a new data set and it will appear next to the one that we have you can see it over here but I don't want to do that okay so in the background 
we are going again to set the coloring option and then uh, the alpha option will be set to the zero so the background disappears by the way i forgot to set the range of the data that we are going to insert to the chart so we are using the primary axis and since the chart is going to reflect uh, the voc index data again my range is between zero and 500 okay so now we need to remove these lines and the border of the chart uh, and we can do that uh, from here again set the alpha value to zero and in the line option we are going to do the same and now we can have this clear bar chart in order to represent our data of course we can insert the, the data that we want uh, during the runtime of the uh, software so this chart will display the previous uh, voc index data of course we can modify the color of the uh, bar indicators uh, from this menu so say that we want it to be red so that's it okay so now we have implemented the uh, chart let's delete that uh, and have a look at the background gradient and this is in the background uh, panel and so here in the background you can see that the main color uh, is set to white uh, and I have gradient uh, with this color of course uh, the colors were taken from the gauge uh, you can change that by selecting the color picker option so they say that I want it to be uh, yellow the change takes place over here of course the color as we have seen in the firmware the color of the gradient uh, changes uh, depending on the voc data uh, and in order to set the boundaries of the gradient uh, we are going to set the beginning and the uh, end gradient uh, value so if i set this to be 100 you will see that the gradient will occupy more area inside my panel and the gradient stop option will determine where the gradient uh, ends in order to uh, modify the color of the background so if I select this to be 101 you will see the color changes immediately at this point while if I put it uh, to be the end of the panel you can see that the color keeps changing and of course we can play with the gradient style to be horizontal like that or we can remove it from here okay so now it's time to export this uh, user interface and start integrating to our project the ESP32 where we had the uh, air quality sensor so all we need to do is to export the user interface files and we are going to have and here's the output that Squareline Studio has exported uh, so first we don't have uh, fonts uh, and in the images we can see the gauge full and gauge empty uh, source files of course these files of course these files should be imported to our project uh, here i have done that in the user interface layer you can see that i've imported them and other than that uh, in the user interface source file you will see uh, all the objects that's going to be used uh, in the initialization process and they are going to be used in order to control the user interface part so uh, and that is done in the screens so here we have designed only one screen so here is the screen initialization uh, all you need to do is to copy this part and i have uh, that uh, over here you can see here all the objects that i have in my user interface uh, so uh, we have here the gauge charts and background gradient and you will notice that while initializing uh, all the objects i'm using the tile view 2 uh, instead of the screen object uh, and i'm doing so because i have two different screens the first screen is the uh, introduction animation and the other screen is the one that shows uh, the air quality uh, sensor data and here you can see both of the tile views are used okay so uh, regarding our firmware so here in the tasks that uh, responsible for handling the uh, sensor you can see that i'm using you can see here the lvgl voc index update uh, function where all the user interface data gets updated so let's enter that so you can see that i'm only passing the voc index value that's ranging between 0 and 500 all right so first of all you can see that i'm dividing the voc index data by one gauge uh, section uh, maximum value which is uh, 83 so 83 times uh, 6 will be almost uh, 500 
which is the maximum range of the gauge that I have and this actually will determine the color uh, of the whole user interface so let me show you how that uh, will happen uh, actually this is uh, all done inside this uh, 2d array which carries the information of each color so these are nothing but color values and depending on the past uh, section value uh, the necessary color will be selected and we can see this over here so the panel one uh, and the gradient uh, color will be select depending on the calculated gauge section and here the voc index string is printed directly on the screen using this function which is inside the circular panel uh, and here we write the comment that's related to the voc index data so again using the calculated gauge section we know which color it is so this will also change the uh, string and here are the comments on the voc index data which they are they are good fair moderate poor unhealthy severe we have seen that actually at the beginning of the tutorial and then the value of the uh, arc which is the gauge in our case is updated and then we insert this value inside uh, our chart so actually the chart is nothing but an array uh, that's uh, keep that keeps shifting to the left as we insert new values and you can see that depending on the last uh, pass function the color uh, of the chart uh, is being updated as well of course i have updated everything related to this tutorial and you can have a look at it inside the uh, related github repository so you can uh, work on it so this brings me to the end of this tutorial if you have learned something new please share this video among your friends and tell them about useful electronics see you in the upcoming tutorials and bye bye